The article that I uploaded is called Developing Expertise in Strength and Condition Coaching. This article talks about the uh, phases and model of expertise development. Um, in this model, it's broken down into three phases, the competent or the novice, excuse me, the beginner or the novice, the competent, and the expert. The specific phase that I believe is the most important for our research is the section that talks about the beginner or the novice. Uh, in the in the this article, it talks about the characteristics of in actions that different stages of coaching have, as well as their preferred learning models of developing. So, for the beginner, for instance. Their preferred learning model is through experiences and actual coaching. Uh, this is incredibly important because one of the largest limiting factors for these coaches is their experience. A lot of times these coaches do have some beginning knowledge of what coaching is. This can come from uh, being an athlete themselves or being an intern. They also have uh, foundational knowledge a lot of the time from formal education, such as uh, undergraduate degrees. These coaches have a lot of difficulty with time management um, and determining and what is most important at a given time. They tend to focus incredibly heavily on one thing, even if it's less important than something else because of this lack of experience. To develop these coaches, experience is incredibly important, as well as furthering understanding of the field and how to develop.